spot I've never sat before. I held this for my dad. Who shot one last night. And, uh... Last weekend, he had a chance at two really nice bucks that were right behind him. He had no idea they were there. This is a cow pasture, and there's cows everywhere making a lot of noise, and he thought it was cows still back behind him. When he looked, these two bucks were ten yards looking right at him. When I got in here, I got all set up, and I just was getting ready to do my interview, and I heard a grunt. And there was some chasing going on behind me. I can't see down in there. It's real thick. We used to hunt down in there, but every time you go in, you just blow the woods up. So we just kind of set up on the edge here. So hopefully the wind's in my favor. It's going to be kind of hard to video. i got to put the camera on the other side of the tree where it doesn't really work out too well. So hopefully I can get some good film for you guys to watch. Chasing them over down in there. The leaves are really crunchy. I just heard another crowd. I better get ready. Oh, we got deer come. We got deer come. Halloween 31st he shot a buck his very first buck with his bow and I got to be there and film it and I'm sure you guys will see that and it's 
quite a bit better than this film. And he wanted to come film me tonight. Well, the winds were completely wrong for the stands that we were wanting to go to, so. <laughs> we uh, decided that I was just gonna go sit his stand because the other night, like I said at the beginning of my interview, he had two bucks come in and he didn't know they were there and they busted me. Like clockwork, they came back. And he told me about what time they came out. He says it'd be about 5.30 right before dark. That's when I seen him anyway. Who knows if they'll do it or not. He's actually sitting in a truck right now. He doesn't have any clue. I just shot one. But I tell you what, if anybody's ever done this film and stuff, it's it takes a lot out of you. It does. You're loading your backpack down, you got tree arms and all this stuff. Carrying your bow and at least the disadvantage for places I hunt. I mean, it's a long walk to get to anything to play any kind of wind direction. And it's gonna be a long haul to get him out of here. I'm pretty sure that that deer's this this bear bow is just it shoots lights out, it shoots laser beams, and I practice quite a bit, so I was pretty comfortable. And plus, you know, I just wanted to get another arrow in him. I don't want him to suffer. I don't want, I don't want to lose him. So he was quartering away, and that last arrow hit home. It, Look, I hit right behind your rib cage and out the front, so it was buried up to the fletch too, so he should be down. I think he's a big nine, he's got a nice frame. I don't I don't know how big he really is, but he's a nice deer. Man, that bow shoots flat. That deer was at 42 yards and that arrow said Pow! Smoked him. Well stay tuned. Um He's quite a ways away from me, so I'm probably gonna climb down here now so I can walk out of here in the daylight. My arrow is in him, so I'll kind of go mark where the blood trail starts, probably over there. And we should pick it up in the morning. Well, it's November 2nd today. Shot this buck last night. He's a lot nicer than I thought he was. I've seen after that first shot that his tine was busted. But uh, that second shot I put on him hit him really good. The first shot, I thought I was confused when I hit him because. The way he acted, he went over and snort wheezed after I shot him. But he was so fired up with that other buck. But that quarter and away, first shot I took, went in here and exited right into his chest right here. And for some reason, he just wasn't bleeding out when I was watching him, so I elected to get that second shot in there. And it, it made its mark, and he went about 80 yards, and we found him this morning. Got good buddy Mark out here running the camera. He came out here today with me, helped me find it. I got my dad, I filmed him shoot his very first bow buck, October 31st, which was two days ago. And uh, he shot that out of one of our tree stands and he let me go sit in his and uh, took out one of, one of his deer he'd been seeing a lot. He's a beautiful buck. Thanks for watching Team NXG. I hope you guys enjoyed it.